The waves can beat and baffle and sickness can come, death can come, or anything else but your safe ever more. Christ our refuge. God provided place of safety. Good morning, brothers, and good morning, sisters. According to the time that you're following us, maybe it's the evening time, good evening, if it's the afternoon time, good afternoon. Uh, still, your precious brother, as I always say, my name is Pastor Philip B. Mumba. I've come again on your screen. Um, talk about the same topic that I told you that we are going to bring part after part. Uh, today we want to talk about last time i was talking about i i, I spoke about god in eternity the allow himself existing i also talked about a god uh in uh, the office of the father or in, in uh, dispensation of the father we've seen how god was called yahweh how he was called uh, y H W H. He was Jehovah, the Lord Himself, and in there when He called Himself the Savior, as we read last time in Isaiah chapter uh, forty-five. Today I want to come with a new part that's about the office or dispensation manifestation of the Son. We saw that God, he was in eternity. Then after that, from eternity, he, he took a body. I don't forget to remind you that God, God has um, what we call a nature. And the nature of God is the spirit. And when he, in the beginning, he took the body that we call logos which is the word and today we want to talk about another body that he took again let's read in uh, colossians chapter one i take from verse 14 going down the bible says that as i told you last time i'm uh, using another version but on the screen is king james old king james version <laughs> yes sorry uh, from 14, the Bible says, <clears throat> Colossians, chapter 1, verse 14. Who purchased our freedom and forgave our sins. Listen up. Christ is the visible image of the invisible God. He existed before anything was created. And he is supreme over all creation. For through him, God created everything in the heavenly realms and on earth. He made the things we can see and the things we can't see, such as thrones, kingdoms, rulers, and authorities in the unseen world. Everything was created through him and for him. He existed before anything else and he holds all creation together. Christ is also the, the, the head of the church, which is his body. He is the beginning supreme over all who rise from the dead. So he is first in everything. For God in all his fullness was pleased to live in Christ. And through him God reconciled everything to himself. He made peace with everything in heaven and on earth. By means of Christ's blood on the cross. I mean, so look at this. I think this verse has, has spoken. These verses that I'm from reading, I've already spoken about everything. In here, the Bible says Jesus was the visible image of the um, in, invisible God. Our God is invisible because he said that is is the Spirit. God Himself, the Lord is a Spirit. The Lord is Spirit. The Father is a Spirit. In the office of Father, the the uh, the, the Elohim is a Spirit. Now that Spirit 
was made visible in the body, and that body was the body of Christ Jesus. So the body of Jesus was the visible, the image of visible God, the God that people couldn't see. They saw him through Jesus. Listen, we can say, no, Jesus is just the Son. Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus is the Son of God. You stand there and saying Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus is the Son of God. Now, who is that God? Who is that God whose Jesus is the Son? Let's take uh, in Matthew chapter 1. I can take um, I can take uh, only one verse, or maybe I can take two verses, two different verses. Uh, I take verse 18 and 20. This is how Jesus the Messiah was born. His mother Mary was engaged to, uh, to um, be married to Joseph. But before the marriage took place, while she was still a virgin, she became pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost. So Mary conceived through the power of the Holy Ghost. Listen now. 20. As he considered this, an angel, the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, son of David, the angel said, Do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child within her was conceived by the Holy Spirit. So who is the father of Jesus? Is it Jehovah or the Holy Spirit? Because we can mislead ourselves within our thoughts, in our class of thoughts. We say, no, Jesus is just the Son of God. So who is that God? Is it Jehovah? Is it the Holy Spirit? Where the Trinity is failing? Where people who are believing in three gods in polytheism are failing? Where people are believing in dualism are failing, which is uh, the belief in uh, uh, two gods. Two gods, I can say. And when you take two gods, that means there is another god that you've added. Wow, Deuteronomy 6 4 says, I am, listen, Israel, the Lord is our God. He is unique alone. There's no other God. There's only one God. And the nature of that God is spirit. And the nature of that God is unseen. So the God who was unseen, the God who is invisible, was seen, was visible. He became in the flesh that in the body of Jesus. That means Jesus himself was God. Jesus himself was the supremacy of God. God man, he came on earth to manifest God. He came on earth, uh, on earth to show us who really God was. That's why he became. A human being, as God said, I will choose a place where I put my name. And that place that God was supposed to put his name, that was in the body, a human flesh, uh, a body, a physical body, and that the body of Jesus. That's why he came on earth in the body of Jesus, and he came to reconcile the world to himself. Because in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 22, the Bible says, Without shedding the blood, without shedding the blood, there is no forgiveness, remission of sin. That's why God himself came to shed his blood. And he made himself a body so that he may shed the blood, uh, like a human blood, so that he may reconcile us to himself. When we talk about shedding the blood, we can also take in Acts, Acts chapter uh, 20, verse 28, where the Bible says um, uh, that the church is now uh, was redeemed, was rescued by God's blood. That means uh, God took the body, and uh, that body was the body of Jesus Christ. He came so that he may shed the blood, and that blood uh, was the blood uh, of reconciliation, so that God may reconcile the world to himself, and everything is created by him, and everything, uh, whatsoever we see with our naked eyes, are made by himself, by Jesus. Why did he say that uh, everything was created by God, or by Jesus? Because in John 1, 1, the Bible says in the beginning of the word, and the word was with God, and the word made manifest that in verse 13 and 14. It's showing that the word was Jesus, because the, the word made flesh. And we saw that in Genesis 1, the word, the Logos, was the word. 
and the word was the one that created and Jesus is the word of God. That means the one who created everything is Jesus. That's why he's called the firstborn Alpha and Omega. May God bless you. This is the end of uh, this uh, short time. We have some scriptures that are showing that uh, Jesus himself was God. That's why he said that I'm going to the Father. I'll come back to you again. So just stay blessed. May God bless you. May God assist you in everything you do. Just remain in the hands of God. May God bless you. See you next time with the third part. Ooh.